Hey you guys, um, I made this cup for my daughter. Um, it's a glitter Yeti-like tumbler. It's not a Yeti. I'm not going to play around with one of those. Um, anyway, it's a it's an Ozark Trails cup underneath there. But anyway, um, I posted a picture of it in one of my groups and somebody was asking how I layered um, the vinyl. And this one I actually just did by, you know, by eyeballing it. But there are some times when I'll make like little registration marks um, to help me layer the de bleh, layer the design onto the surface um, that I'm applying it to. So the following is is a short video. It was meant to be shorter um, of me just explaining how I set how I would have set registration marks up in Cricut Design Space for this design. So um, I hope somebody finds it helpful. You'll notice in the video I mentioned that um, I, I realize as I'm doing the video that the person who, ha who asked the question may or may not have actually had a cricket because it wasn't a cricket group. At any rate, um, I hope you guys find it helpful. I hope that y'all's 2018 is off to a fabulous start. And I hope to have something else for you guys soon. Okay, so here is my um, file for my daughter's unicorn cup. And I'm just going to show you real quick how I would have done um, registration marks if I'd use them. I didn't use them to layer this design. I just, on her cup, I eyeballed it. Um, but there are times when I have to use the registration marks. Usually I make like a little circle. But because there are circles in this design... I think I'm going to make probably just a little square. And now my computer's freezing up. Hold on. What in the heck? Okay. So I just choose a shape. I'm going to do a square. Sometimes I'll cut around it, you know, to try to save some vinyl, but that gets to be a pain in the butt, too. Oh my gosh. It's stuck again, y'all. Just shoop, make it tiny. I probably want to make it tinier than that. That's good. So about that size, and then I go and check, and I see how many colors I have in my design. So I have gold. I have black. I have the pink. Wait, gold, black, pink, yellow, and blue. So I have five. So I want five of these squares the same size. So then I do four duplicates. One, two, three, four. Come on now. Did it do it? Why does it always give me one less duplicate than I press the button for? It always does that to me. Anyway, so... Okay, so then I go over to Color Sync and I go over to Color Sync and then I drop each one of these into one of the colors for my design. So one goes into a black. Come on. One goes into a black. One goes into a gold. Seriously. One goes into a yellow. One goes into the blue. Come on in. And one goes into the pink. Okay, down here, this is um, this color. This is just my little note to myself. Um, the name, once I typed it out, I changed the spacing and then I welded it together. I ungrouped it, changed the spacing, and then I welded it together. Um, and so once you do that, you can't see what font it is anymore. 
so this is just my little note and it it doesn't get cut out so it doesn't need a it doesn't need a registration square so then I go back to layers and then I have to come over here and ungroup my little design come on dude Roar. why is it so slow ungroup now here comes the fun part not really but okay so you need to decide decide where you want to place this registration mark um, I try not to place it too far outside the design because I'm always trying to trying to save my vinyl y'all um, you know I, I tend to get deals on it I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on it but I don't like to waste it either so I'm just gonna and I'm not cutting this one out anyway but I would put it right about there so that's the pink one so I would take the pink one but oh wait I skipped the step I'm sorry so I'm gonna take all of them and move them over here and in a minute I'm gonna straighten them up but you want them all in the same you want these layered on top of each other on your screen and it doesn't really matter which order they're in okay so then you got them over there then you select all of them this is really supposed to be fast jeez louise look okay so all of those together I align them center center them over each other okay so on the top we have the black right so select the black and then go select your black layer and then attach them okay and then I hide it for a minute this is just the way I do it oops wait a minute I want to hide the whole thing okay what did I just hide I was trying to hide the yeah but you're supposed to be attached to that so what are you attached to okay I want to hide the whole thing I'll figure out what's going on with that in a minute. They're supposed to be attached. I don't know why they're not attached, but anyway. Um, then you, I'm going to grab the gold one because it's it's the next one that appears. Hold the control and grab the ear of the unicorn because that's part of my gold layer. And I'm going to attach it to the gold layer. Okay. And then wherever my gold layer went, I'm going to hide it. Next one up is yellow. Come on. I'm seriously going to have to edit what should just be a quick little video. This sucks. Okay. Hide the yellow. Then blue's up next. Attach it. Hide it. And then the pink.
And normally I wouldn't hide this at this point, but because there's something going on with the black that I need to check out, I'm going to go back and hide the pink. And then go down to my, to my black. I really don't understand what's going on there. Hmm. Did I detach that layer? That's what happened, y'all. I detached my um my eyebrow layer. So we're just gonna select all of that. Bling. And it says detach. What's attached? What are you attached to? Okay, so if you're attached, that means, okay, don't know what happened there, but I think you get the gist. So, um, after each color layer is attached to its little registration mark, then I show them again, I unhide them. And I'm assuming, yeah, the person that I was, whose question I was answering, um, I don't think is necessarily in a Cricut group. That's not a Cricut group. I don't know what kind of machine you have. But if you happen to have Cricut, this is how I do it in design space. Very tedious. Um, I don't know if it would be as tedious in... Uh, the Silhouette Cameo software or anything, because I've never used that. Um, but I kind of don't like doing this part. What is this? This is something else that I hit. I don't know. Oh, that's something else. Never mind. Anyway, so that's how I do it. So then when it goes to the cutter, assuming you're using a Cricut, And this is how it'll show up. So see the registration mark? See the, your lashes on the black layer over here? Here's your registration mark. Um, the registration mark is going to be in the same spot on each layer. So why is it not showing me a picture? What the heck, man? I'm so annoyed. It's too early in the year to be this annoyed. But I'm so annoyed right now. Oh, there it goes. Okay, see? The registration mark. Wow. Can you go tell your mother that I'm recording and to please stop cursing in the background? Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway. It's not, I said it's going to be in the same spot. It's not going to be in the exact same spot on your mat. But once you cut it out, that's how you'll know where to layer the pieces. And so once it's cut out, you're going to place, you know, one part of your design. I started with the gold part of my design. I put that down first because that's the biggest part. That's the biggest layer. And it's easier for me um, to layer it that way. So put that one down and then if I did the lashes next I would layer that registration mark I would center it on top of the gold one and so on and so forth with the blue the yellow and the pink um, and then once I was done I would remove all of those you know the stack of registration marks so I hope that makes sense um, I was having a little bit of a hard time trying to think about how am I going to explain this in writing. So that's why I wanted to show it to you this way. But now I think about it, I'm not sure that you're using a Cricut. But maybe this helps. I don't know. Uh, hopefully it does. Take care. Bye-bye.